Hi guys, I've been here with a preview of Liverpool versus Leicester City, the first of two games in three days for the Reds. It's that horrible, horrible time like we had last year when we had to play Man City at home and Sunderland away. This year it's Leicester at home and then Burnley away in the space of three days. Last year we made the mistake, well I say a mistake in hindsight, uh, of kind of not resting anyone after City. We played pretty much the exact same team by a couple of changes I think for the Sunderland game. This season I think Klopp will know not to do that after what happened in January when we had the complete burnout and results went awry. I think it would be a lot of rotation which makes the team selection for this one pretty unpredictable. Um, I'm sure Leicester will be facing the same issues, it's the same for everyone, it's a bit of a mad time, results are very unpredictable. Uh, we've got to get out of here these two games with at least four points but I mean really we should be looking at six if we're going to cement ourselves in our top four and try and pull away from the likes of Arsenal and Spurs who are picking up results uh, slowly but surely. So Leicester is a tough one. We lost to them in the League Cup earlier this year. We beat them in the League 3-2. We got fortunate with a mini late penalty save. Um, I do think they're playing some nice stuff on the club. Well, they're they lost 3-0 at home to Palace, but then they get a point against United, and they have got some good wins un under their belt in the last couple of months. Mares is in brilliant form. Varney's always a threat. I quite like Albrighton. I like Gray. Defensively, they're not brilliant. Um, they've got the youngster Chilwell and Maguire still sort of settling in. Um, but still a, 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 an upper mid-table side, a side to be reckoned with. There's still some players left from that title winning side, some special, special players. Uh, Mares, obviously, in particular, is a danger man. We're going to need to be careful with him. If I try and make a stab at a team selection, um, Mignolet in goal, Joe Gomez I imagine will come back in at right back with Matip at centre back alongside probably Ragnar Klavan, um, you know, keeping his place. I think Klavan's been really good as of late. Um, and look, it's, it's a battle to partner Van Dijk now. I mean, and the place is tomorrow is going to be buoyed by the Van Dijk sign. It's going to give everyone a lift. Hopefully there's a great atmosphere. Saturday at three o'clock, um, you know, just hopefully that, that makes a big difference. Anyway, Robertson left back and then midfield it gets tricky. Um, Jordan Henderson obviously injured. Uh, he's the holding midfielder. Have we got many others we can look up, look towards? I mean, Emre Chan will need to be rested at some point. Wijnaldum can play in that position. I think Wijnaldum might sit there this time. Um, honestly, I'll just take just pick one at random there. Um, Milner hasn't played in a while from, from the start, so he might come in. Uh, whether we play Coutinho in midfield or, or Oxley Chamberlain or Lalana, I don't know. I think I think we might go with Lalana, not Lalana. Sorry, I think I might go with Oxley Chamberlain. I don't think Lalana's quite ready. And then front three, will Mane come back in? Um, who do we rest? Maybe Firmino gets a rest and Solanke starts. I wouldn't be particularly keen on that to be honest. I think Firmino will start. Maybe Salah gets a rest and we go with um, Coutinho and Mane. Um, it's so unpredictable, to be honest. I'm just sort of pick, picking names out of a hat there. It's, it's an unpredictable one, obviously. Who doesn't play on Saturday will play on Monday. Uh, let's just go and win both games if we can. It's it's a very bizarre time of year, one that's hard to really put too much sort of insight towards. It's just get through Leicester with the three points and take it from there. Um, I mean, I, I do think we'll have enough to beat Leicester. They obviously have to rotate as well. Um, I think we'll probably win a sort of be a comfortable two 0 sort of win. I, I very much settle for that. Um, leave a comment with your predictions. I'm going to be at the game, so there'll be a day trip from the night or the day and the night at some point, probably the following day, and uh, then we go to Burnley as well. Burnley away. There'll be a day trip from that too. So I'm excited for those. This game, I'm excited because I'm, I'm I'm in a good mood about the whole Van Dijk situation, and I'm I'm pleased with our form at the moment, especially in front of goal. Um, I don't want to see too many players rested because I know how that resulted against Everton and we lost a bit of momentum there and we and we got frustrated by them and by West Brom. I think Leicester are a side that might actually come out and play a bit. Um, Puel's a manager we don't have a good record against. Um, I think he's I think he's undefeated in six meetings with us as a, as a manager in the Premier League and, and in, in the Cups as well. I know Southampton knocked us out of the Cup at One Cup last year, so he's got a good a good record against us. He'll know how to come and play at Anfield. Uh, hopefully we can we can counter that, get an early goal, get two early goals, because we've got to be careful of Leicester, as I said. They've got such a threat going forward. I remember last season, we just blazed them for the first 25 minutes, got the game won. We let them back into it cheaply through Vardy, and then we just went on to win it, breezed it second half. So let's hope for a similar sort of outcome. I could do with Mane getting a goal. I could do with Mane getting back into form. Um, really important that he finds his feet. I've seen a little, way too much criticism of him uh, in terms of long term and he's not good enough. Oh, come on, it's Sadio Mane. It's for, in 18 months as a Liverpool player, this is his first real dip in form. Um, he's had a patchy season with suspensions and injuries. Um, let's get him back on the score sheet. Let's get behind him. Let's support the boys and let's get a win over Leicester City and stay fourth. 
try and chase down those above us because United are struggling. I'm still not convinced on Chelsea. We can finish better than fourth as far as I'm concerned. It starts tomorrow. Leave a comment with your predictions. Follow my other socials, Ben might say on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook. And subscribe if you're new. I'll see you next time.